Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Colette Boyd. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. The Spirit are gearing up to host the Memorial Cup. And now we know which squads they'll welcome to Saginaw next week. We last saw the Spirit play earlier this month, falling to the London Knights in Game 6 of the Western Conference Finals. But they'll be back on the ice soon as they welcome a trio of champions to the Dally Event Center. The Moose Jaw Warriors swept the Portland Winter Hawks to win their first WHL title. They'll kick off the tournament against Saginaw on May 24th. The Drummondville Voltagers swept the championship series for the QMJHL this week. They'll face off against the Spirit on May 26th. And the Spirit will look to get their revenge against the London Knights. The hosts and the champions will renew their rivalry on May 29th. The puck drops at 7.30 for each of those contests. Go Spirit! Well, new at noon, school leaders held a virtual press conference to discuss the urgent need for decisive action from Lansing regarding K-12 schools. Michigan education groups have put a plan on the table that would free up hundreds of millions of dollars annually in spending power for local schools. What we're talking about here is really giving every school in Michigan the opportunity to spend more on teachers, on students, on support staff without having to raise any taxes or cut any money elsewhere. And it, when you look at it at that simple form, I don't know how, any, how anyone would be opposed to doing that. Now, leaders said another area of concern was layoffs happening across the country. Now here's Diane with your first alert forecast. Diane. We do have quite a bit of sunshine coming back at us again today that's welcomed and what is also welcomed is the warmer weather that's coming with it. Yesterday a little bit on the cool side but today we're really bringing that summer feeling and we're going to keep it that way. When you can see our highs are going to be sitting through the 70s even Sunday trying to get towards 80 degrees. As far as the rain though there is a little chance of that for today but we'll enjoy and keep the sunshine for the afternoon. A little more cloud cover will move in around dinner time and early evening. That's when we start to see some of these showers that are going to be coming in. Some thunderstorms are also going to be possible. It's not widespread. You can see that these storms are widely spread across the area. So it's going to be here and there that we see the rain. It gets a little more organized once it comes past the bay. So we see a little bit of better coverage through the thumb and this is going to be during the night and still maybe a rumble of thunder as we get out the door tomorrow morning. But once the bulk of the rain moves through, the afternoon is going to be dry. We still can have enough moisture left to where we could just have a pop up stray shower. Again, summer like temperatures, summer like rainfall, but a lot of us are going to be able to make it through the day. OK, as far as keeping it dry. As we go into Saturday morning, you can see a little bit of that cloud cover coming back in. So some hazy, foggy conditions are going to be possible as we head into your weekend. As far as the full first alert seven day forecast, you're going to find that tonight into Friday, that's going to be our best rain chance. We were able to drop rain chances for the weekend, so that is nice. Just an isolated shower both days. Again, when we're talking upper 70s, even 80 degrees with a little bit of humidity, of course, it's a summer setup. Can always have those pop up storms. We'll still find it a little more we're isolated until Tuesday. That's when we're going to have another chance of a system coming in and that could even linger into your Wednesday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.